Hi everyone, this is going to be the tarot forecast for Taurus for the month of December 2022. This can apply if you're a Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate with you. Also do keep in mind this is a general reading so not all the messages may resonate. So take what, res take what resonates and leave out the rest. And I also wanted to mention that I'm taking bookings for personal readings right now. So if you'd like to contact me for a natal chart reading, a synastry chart reading, or birth read, um, relationship compatibility, or if you'd like to contact me for tarot readings, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so Taurus, this is looking to be quite interesting. I'll just show you the cards that I got. Excuse me. The first card that I got is the Four of Cups in reverse. The second is the Seven of Cups in reverse. The next one is the High Priestess. The next is the Two of Cups. Uh, the next one is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the overarching energy for you is the Magician. Great energy. I do feel... Um, so Taurus, the, just right off the bat, the energy that I'm getting for you is you are not settling anymore. Starting December, I feel like a lot of you are saying no to things that just don't meet your requirements. Maybe in the past you compromised in this respect. Maybe you settled. Maybe you accepted uh, less than what you were looking for, thinking that, you know, maybe things are going to sort themselves out or maybe it's not as bad as it seems. But we know how that works out, right? Like we know that when we... Um, settle when we um, you know go for what is mediocre and not really aligned with what we really want then we don't end up being happy and uh, it just makes the situation worse than what it was so yeah I do feel like a, a lot of you are rejecting things uh, that just don't meet your standards and I say this because this is coming up right next to the seven of cups in reverse and seven of cups is about options but does that mean all options are good options? Not necessarily because the Seven of Cups also represents deception. It represents illusions, delusions, a lot of those sort of themes with the Seven of Cups. And so I feel like a lot of you are sort of separating the wheat from the shaft. And a lot of you are discovering that not all the options that are coming your way are really high quality. And you're able to see through what is quality and what isn't what works for you and what doesn't work for you and I feel like you're being extremely discerning in the month of December you're not really settling for anything that doesn't uh, align with your standards doesn't align with your long-term vision or just whatever you have planned for your future so it's a really good uh, vibe that I'm getting for you Taurus definitely stick to that because we don't want to settle. We don't want to go for something that is substandard, subpar, and just doesn't feel good on all levels, you know. Now, I'm also getting the high priestess energy, which is kind of the un underlying theme. And the magician is your overarching energy and is just landing right on top of the high priestess energy. So... Something tells me that the key to unlocking your manifestation powers this month uh, during December is to uh, be very, um, very in tune with what your intuition is telling you or your inner compass is telling you. Because uh, uh, Taurus, you do have a very strong sense of intuition and you do have that natural passive feminine energy where you allow things to come to you. But sometimes you may... Um, uh, overlook that or you may not pay attention to that inner voice uh, maybe for whatever reason like there may be distractions or things happening or you know self-talk or whatever but the key in December to really unlocking your manifestation powers and getting what it is that you really want is to really ask yourself what it is that you want because sometimes what happens is we may want a certain thing or certain things in our life, but if our internal settings are not um, at the same frequency as what we are trying to attract, uh, it's not going to sorry, it's not going to land. Uh, the reason I say this is because even if you do end up getting whatever it is that you wanted, right? Like you manifested it, you got it, but 
Inside, if you are not accepting of that frequency, eventually you're going to reject it or you're going to self-sabotage, which is why I'm saying that this energy is coming up for you, where it's really important to be aligned with your internal self. And I also say this because the Two of Cups has also come up in this reading right next to the High Priestess energy. So again, this speaks about internal alignment. Aligning your own energy so that you're very clear and divinely guided and you know exactly what you want and you're able to discern better. I mean, you're already able to do that, Taurus, but I feel like to take it up to the next level and be extremely aligned with what uh, the divine guidance is telling you, it's really important that you listen to your inner voice. I will do a clarification on this, but that's the message that I'm getting right now. I'm also getting the Six of Pentacles as a reversal. Now, Six of Pentacles is this energy of generosity. Um, but it, it can also be um, maybe being too generous or giving, and that can be in any situation, right? It can be about being generous with your time, your money, anything, you know, um, your attention, your emotions, whatever. And I feel like you are really putting a lid on it. You're really putting a cap on it. Like maybe in the past you invested a lot in a person or a situation or a relationship or a job, whatever it is. Maybe you over invested in that situation. And so now in December, you're being very clear about what you will invest time in or energy in and what you won't. So this is a time to be pretty um, logical about your choices and what exactly you're allowing into your life because even the astrology when we look at it you know what we entertain now it's going to continue for quite a while so if you're not really happy with the, the choices that are coming in I would suggest not uh, accepting those I would say you know say no to that uh, don't say yes to those so six of pentacles may also be about um, frugality a little bit like maybe if you have been overspending because six of pentacles is this energy of generosity and because this is coming up as a reversal uh, if you have been overspending like on uh, uh, things or material items because Taurus you do sometimes do that like you may use uh, money or shopping and retail therapy to make yourself feel better a lot of signs do that but Taurus for you especially uh, it because it rules the second house it has a direct influence on the way you feel so i would suggest that in december don't do that um, if you are feeling like overspending i think you're naturally cutting that cost down you're really taking stock of your situation and trying to avoid uh, overspending on things uh, i think you're really decluttering in every sense of the word like you're uh, you're cutting out options that don't align with you. You are uh, cutting out extra expenses, unnecessary expenses. I think you're really um, minimizing and making things very lean. And like really minimizing and making things lean in your life. Things that maybe took up too much of your energy, time, money, whatever it is. If it's too much effort and if it's taking too much time, I think you're done with it and you're just not putting an effort anymore into something like that. That can be anything, right? That could be a job, that could be whatever it is. I think um, if it's taking up too much of your time and energy and if you're not really getting the benefits, then you're just saying no to it, which is good. Um, I am wanting to do a clarification on this four of cups and seven of cups that came up as a reversal right i'm getting the wheel of fortune as a reversal in this reading that is a clarifier for these two cards right so what i'm telling you uh, what i'm sensing here is these options that are coming in if they are not really you know if it's not uh, really aligned to what you're looking for i would just say no I think you're already doing that, but you're on the right track if you're not accepting these offers because uh, if you do end up accepting something that is not aligned, uh, it's actually going to block your abundance because the Wheel of Fortune is coming up as a reversal, as a clarifier for these two cards, Four of uh, Cups in Reverse and Seven of Cups in Reverse. So yeah, I do feel like you may have a lot of options, which may be a good and bad thing because sometimes too many options, uh, it can dilute your... Um, the quality that you receive so it's again being about being very discerning and you know if you're like I said if, if it's not up to the standard that you're looking for then just let it go because it's going to block your abundance it's going to block what's coming into the future all the financial blessings that are coming your way so I wouldn't uh, entertain anything that doesn't really fit in with your standard
right so that's your overall energy taurus for the month of december 2022 if you like this reading please do give it a thumbs up your likes really help my videos stay relevant in the youtube algorithm and they also help other uh, people discover my videos and similar content and if you'd like to book a reading with me definitely drop me a message on facebook or email the links are in the description box below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in my next video Bye bye